Dado Shri Ismail Sabri bin Yaqob Howie, Ismail Sabri bin Yaqob born January 18, 1960 is a Malaysian politician who has served as the 9th Prime Minister of Malaysia since August 2021. A member of Parliament MP for Bera since 2004, Ismail is the Vice President of the United Malays National Organization UMNO, a component party of the Barisan Nasian Albian Coalition which is aligned with the Perikatan Nasian Alpian Coalition. As of a result of the ongoing 2020-21 Malaysian political crisis, he was formally appointed and sworn in as Prime Minister on August 21, 2021 following the resignation of his predecessor Muhyiddin Yassin. 3. He is the first Prime Minister of Malaysia born after the independence of Malaya in 1957, the first ever former leader of the opposition in Malaysia to become Prime Minister and the first ever Prime Minister who is not the highest in rank in a political party or coalition. Ismail served in several cabinet positions in the BN administration under former Prime Ministers Abdullah Ahmad Badawi and Najib Razak, from March 2008 to its 2018 general election loss. 4. He was the 15th leader of the opposition in the Pakatan Harapan PH administration from March 2019 to its collapse in February 2020 amid the 2020 Malaysian political crisis. In the PN government, he was prominent in the country's response to the COVID-19 pandemic in his roles as Senior Minister for Security, and later during a 40-day stint as Deputy Prime Minister. He led a faction of his party UMNO that continued supporting Prime Minister Muhyiddin Yassin in June 2021, when the party withdrew its support over the government's handling of the pandemic. After this culminated in the collapse of the government and Muhyiddin's resignation, he successfully entered negotiations to become Prime Minister in August 2021 after garnering the support of the most MPs. 1-5 As Prime Minister, Ismail Sabri lifted the movement control order following the expansion of the vaccination program and oversaw the 12th Malaysia Plan. In April 2022, UMNO announced that Ismail Sabri is its prime ministerial candidate for the expected 15th Malaysian general elections, due to be held before September 14, 2023. Ismail Sabri has attracted controversy for his comments in support of ethnic Malay preeminence in Malaysia. Port of Eth Ismail Sabri was born in Temerlo, Pahang, Malaysia. 10. His parents are Yaqab Abdul Rahman and Wan Jawan Mahmud who were originally from Kelantan. 11. His father worked as a rubber tapper. 12. His education began in 1967 at Sekalakabong Zanbongau, followed by Sekalamananga Air Pusha in Kwantan in 1973, and Sekalamananga Tashna Kwantan in 1976. After graduating from Form 6 at Jayakadamik, he continued his studies at the University of Malaya majoring in law in 1980. 10. The title of his Bachelor of Laws LLB thesis is Treatment of Political Detainees in Malaysia Lion and Terhadap Tanan Politik di Malaysia. 13. In 1985, Ismail began his legal career as a lawyer. He was then appointed as a member of the Timurlo District Council in 1987 and a member of the Timurlo Municipal Council in 1996. In 1995, he was appointed political secretary to the Minister of Culture, Arts, and Tourism, Sabaudan Chik. He also was appointed to the board of directors of the Pahang Tengara Board Dara in 1995 as well as the Malaysian Tourism Promotion Board in the same year. 10 Before entering parliament in 2004, Ismail Sabri served as chairman of the National Sports Complex. 14 Following Ismail's appointment as a member of the Temerlo Division UMNO Committee in 1987, he held several positions such as Temerlo Division UMNO Information Chief in 1988, Temerlo Division UMNO Youth Chief in 1993, and Temerlo Division UMNO Deputy Chief in 2001. He was appointed as inaugural Bera Division UMNO Chief in 2004 following the border redelineation process for parliamentary constituencies. Ismail Sabri was elected to parliament in the 2004 general election, becoming the first MP for the new seat of Bera. 10 Ismail Sabri was re-elected in 2008 general election, 
15 and was appointed in the third cabinet of former Prime Minister Abdullah Ahmad Badawi as Minister for Youth and Sports. He served in the position from 2008 to 2009 for a year when Abdullah resigned as Prime Minister and was replaced by Najib Razak who switched Ismail Sabri to another ministerial portfolio. 2009-2013 the Malaysia Competition Act of 2010 was introduced under Ismail's tenure to regulate competition in the private sector. 18 He also introduced the Menu Riyadh 1 Malaysia MR1M program in 2011 that aims to help the people get food at affordable prices. 19 As of February 2012, 1,314 food premises across the country were participating in the program. After the 2013 general election, in which Ismail retained his parliamentary seat, he was appointed as the Minister for Agriculture and Agro-Based Industry 2013-2015. Ismail's ministry has introduced the Jihad Against the Middlemen Malay, Jihad Memorangi Rangtenga initiative which aims to eliminate the role of middlemen in the agriculture sector. 22 produce from the three agriculture subsectors, namely paddy, fisheries, and vegetables and fruits, are marketed directly to consumers through various platforms including paddy purchasing center Pusat Bilyan Paddy, Fisherman's Market Pasar Nilayan, Farmer's Market Pasar Tani, and Agro Bazaar Kedai Riyadh. Public Service Department of Malaysia claims that the income of crop farmers, fishermen, and livestock producers have increased as a result of this. Ismail Sabri was appointed as the Minister of Rural and Regional Development 2015-2018 after July 2015 cabinet reshuffle. Ismail's ministry launched Rural Urbanization Malay, Mimban Dark and Luar Bunder initiative in November 2015 to address people's needs and wants while keeping the rural development process on track to encourage the younger generation to continue living and building their future in rural areas, basic rural infrastructure is expanded, particularly in underserved areas such as Sabah and Sarawak, as well as rural areas in peninsular Malaysia, including your Angosli areas. During Ismail's tenure in this position, Ismail came up with the concept of Mara Digital Malls in August 2015, which are essentially malls that sell IT products, but only from Buma Pewtera vendors. The initiative was intended to enable more Bumi Pewtera traders to sell digital goods and IT gadgets, with lower rents than existing IT centers. 27 traders were given a six-month rental subsidy to establish themselves in March 2020 following the change from PH to PN government. Ismail was appointed as Senior Minister of Malaysia Security Cluster and Minister of Defense under new Prime Minister, Muhyiddin Yassin to serve in the PN cabinet. 29 His tenure involved conducting daily briefings related to security issues during the COVID-19 pandemic including those related to movement control order MCO restrictions. 30-31-32 He criticized Al Jazeera for a documentary about treatment of immigrants during the MCO demanding the network apologize for what he alleged was false reporting. 33 During the 2020 Sabah state election, Ismail Sabri told the press that voters who had traveled to Sabah to vote from other states would not need to quarantine upon their return. 34-35 After the defeat of BN and UMNO in the 2018 general election, Ismail contested for the UMNO vice presidency in the subsequent 2018 UMNO leadership election on June 30, 2018 and won by the highest number of votes ahead of two other winners with lower number of votes, who are former Minister of Education Mahra Khalid and former Mantari Basar of Johor Mohamed Khalid Nardin. As he was the most voted among the three party vice presidents, he is also the highest ranking party vice president as the party first vice president. He is ranked the third after party president Ahmad Zahid Hamidi and party deputy president Mohamed Hassan. On December 20, 2018, he was tasked to cover the duties and act as the party deputy president duties in place of Mohammed who was covering the duties and acting as the party president during the period when Ahmad Zahid took the garden leave for over half of a year from December 2018 to June 2019. 
Ahmad Zahid has repeatedly called for the next Malaysian general election to be held as soon as possible while Ismail Sabri remains uninterested and undecided on the issue. However, Ismail Sabri also promised to hold the election when the time is right and when he is confident that BN will win it and return to POWs confident 